Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It is me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Theo Vaughn talking to women for 12 minutes. God bless. Let's see what he has to say. I don't have any water up here in case I choke from laughter. Lord bless it. I do have my Swedish fish. Here's one of my favorite jokes. What's the last thing you want to hear when you're giving a blowjob to Willie Nelson? What? I'm not what? Willie Nelson. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, that's a good one. I don't know who told me that. <laughs> but, God, that's a good joke, man. I don't get it. Okay, and are you that kind of person? You jump from boyfriend to boyfriend? Yeah. Really? Boy, I'm a relationship girl. You are? Yeah. But do you leave any time? Like, is there... There's an overlap, usually. Oh! No. Always an overlap. <laughs> She's a Libra. I'm telling you right now, she's a Libra. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, whoever this lady is. I love her honesty. I love her transparency. Every time. So you are, okay. It's not That's just not the, it's not just the guys. Y'all, it's not just the men. Ladies can be like this too, you know? And if you're single, more power to you. I mean, she said there's an overlap. So that means she's not single sometimes, but that's her business. Every time. So you are overlap. okay. That's not called an overlap. That's called. She, I think it, I don't know what the term for it is now. What do they call it, Zach? Overlap. Overlap. It no, might be cheating. Overlap. Cheating. Yeah, they used to call it cheating. It okay, is cheating. Now yeah, they call it overlap. overlap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Overlap yeah. is a nice way to put That's it. That's interesting. There's been a few. Yeah. There's. Well, there's only really been a few overlaps. Do you let the men meet each other like in passing? Like, is there like a moment where you get out of one car and into a new, like you know? Is there that at he least give the men that his. moment? The first, there was a, the first one, yeah, there was an overlap meeting. Really? Yeah. No way, what happened? Yeah. Well, because I usually just, I just date my friends. So, like, we'll be in the same friend group, and then they'll all know each other. There will always be that overlap. Oh, girl, you're trifling. The guy, the guy I'm dating currently usually can tell She's that I'm, I'm going to want to date the friend. No way, oh. really? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, always. It's been, like, three times. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's been, like, three overlaps. But that seemed like a pretty decent amount, I think. How like, many I'm not relationships? A or anything, right? I don't even know any detective. I mean, I know one guy. He's not a detective, but here he goes. He'll fucking he'll find out. But um, <laughs> when he hears this, he will, you know. But uh, he just but like goes off into um, another world. What were you talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, dude. You gotta <laughs> fucking let them meet each other. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, yeah. Just like um, and it seemed like you might have a problem then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think yeah. you do? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I just have commitment issues. Oh, yeah. Listen, but she's self-aware, okay? If you're self-aware and you're honest, you're on the right track. You're, you're go you know, you're going in the right direction is what I'm going to say. I'm going to give her some props. Uh, Very honest. You know, come on. Yeah. I, yeah. I just have commitment issues, so I feel like I'll be in these relationships. Mm -hmm. And I'm so worried. Aren't you so worried? Do you want to get married? Not today, if that's what you're asking. No, I like have. Eventually. Oh yeah, I thought you were asking me. No, I have. Um, <laughs> Was she asking you to marry her? I would like to get married. He's crazy. Yes. But I think if I want to get, I'm so scared you get married, and then like three weeks into the marriage, you find that person that's like, oh, that's I should have married that guy. <laughs> you can't do that though. That's why I don't. I know. Yeah. See, that's well, what. Yeah, there's always gonna be more that guys, you know. I know. I just, I feel like with Bobby, there. This is just my opinion. Once you're married, though, should you be putting yourself in places and positions to still be in situations where you meet someone that you feel like is your, per like, you know what I mean? Like, once you're married, are you still in the same places that you were when you were single for her, for her to feel that way? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That was wild. That's a wild thing to worry about. She's like, basically, she never wants to get married then because she's always going to be thinking like, is there someone else that is my person? There is more of, and oh. I say this only out of respect. I love Bobby and, you know, I hope I get to be a Paul Vera at his funeral if anything ever happens to him, which I hope nothing happens. <laughs> I, thought you said, I thought you were going to say a wedding. Oh, you could be. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> like, or his Don't, please don't wish him you death. You went to sorry, funeral? I wish him death. <laughs> I'll kill myself. He is, I will say this though, and I say it out of love and respect, and I tell him this a lot. He is more oh, light. Yeah. You can tell that death looks for him a little, you know, like he's Theo, had some please. of the addiction stuff he's had. You know, he's uh, very, he looks very, you know, he looks really like a strong shellfish would kill him. 
to be honest. But what I'm saying is, so when you see you by with- By strong shellfish, we're talking like a big lobster with a big carapace. <laughs> You're talking. I've ne that was, he just roast. This is, that was like roast material. What was that show that they used to do on Comedy Central? Was it like the roast, the comedy roast? That was like roast material. You look like a strong shellfish could take you out. Yeah. <laughs> like spiny lobster. No, I'm no, no. I'm talking <laughs> like something a, to po food poisoning. Oh, yeah. I was thinking that a lobster would attack him in the ocean. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I could see a lobster attacking him at maybe like a pool at like a Hampton Inn or something. <laughs> But uh, God, you have a beautiful laugh too. But I think a lobster. Why is he flirting with like this lady? At a no, I was thinking she more Bobby's eating ex? a bad shrimp or having a bad piece Isn't of pork she? somewhere. Oh, okay. You know, especially with you guys combining forces of, you guys come from a very background of a lot of street food. It's very popular in your cultures, and so I think that doubles the chances of somebody. Well, he has there. an American stomach. I don't <laughs> care what his culture is. You're that right. thing is not i want you to know this is a very true thing that she's saying i have a lot of liberian friends and i love liberian food like i love they they have a pepper sauce that they like put with all their food cassava leaf potato greens you know what i mean i'm not a fufu girl um and that kind of annoyed me when that was going viral i'm, I'm not a fufu girl but like pepper shrimp anything spicy on the Liberian scale, give it to me, give it to me. Jollof rice, you know what I mean? And all my Liberian friends always like, you don't have an American stomach. How are you not like on the toilet after you eat? And I'm like, I don't know, this stuff is delicious. What do you mean? Give me more and add pepper. So yeah, like an American stomach, I think is very different from other cultures because they have like all types of spices and their food is prepared differently. My stomach, I would say steel, but I'm not sure I can claim that. <laughs> steel clad yeah, that's, that's not metal clad yeah, he has right. diarrhea all day long oh, like yeah. on looks, oatmeal yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> diarrhea all day long he actually looks like where diarrhea started <laughs> if Gross. somebody were to Gross. i don't know if they can trace it but i could see <laughs> suddenly the fuzz just showing up at y'all's door the fuzz I mean, look, kicking it down as in the police the john you know just looking up the he john? can't get anything he can't keep anything down it no, seems it's just intractable diarrhea all day long it's unbelievable um well, he, no, so here's what i do think i think when you see a Why guy does she know when that? you see a, a girl like you with bobby and i love bobby and bobby's probably one of my 50 probably 40 favorite people i would bet 30. <laughs> 50, 30, 40, 30. 30. Top 30. But you you think Bobby is more prone to death, I think, than if I saw you with like a big six-foot guy. That guy seems like, oh, he's going to live forever. So Bobby, there is a, not in a bad way, you know. I know I'm sure Bobby's going to live for a long time. But you just see him as being like, oh, anything could happen. He, you know, he drives and plays games. He just, he puts himself in dangerous ways. So I think then there's allows a little more room for... Who is going to care for this woman if something ever happened to him? And not in a bad way, but if, and so it's out of love, I think that you look and say, okay. Whereas if I saw you with some guy like Bill Clinton, like a young Bill Clinton or something. I am so lost in the sauce in this conversation, y'all. I'm so lost in the sauce in this conversation. First of all, she just outed Bobby's like bowel movements as his ex girlfriend. Like, girl, we didn't need to know that. And also, Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks. And now, what? what is he talking about? He has this ability to just go so far off topic, but you get so drawn in that once it's all done, you're left both understanding and confused. At least that's where I am with it. Like, what Then I think I would be like, oh, man, you know, even after he dies, he'll still mm -hmm. be able to take care of her. Well, I think that... Well, um, I don't know if Ghost Bobby could hold you down. Is what I'm saying. Uh, Bobby know. is not here to fend for himself. Here? Where is Bobby? I think Bobby would haunt the shit out of both of us. Yeah, that's true. Do. I mean, if you're... If, On if, the toilet. I don't know what you're trying to say, Theo, but you're saying that... Are you, saying that, you, that's what I are you, are sure what you in line right? to catch me? Should he die? No. <laughs> are you no. the man to take care that's of what this woman and... It, uh, this damsel in distress what is this like a <laughs> is this a proposal <laughs> no i i this is what i wanted Theo, to she actually not want um, hash out with you okay for some reason i get a barrage of messages okay and um, what is barrage I mean that's french isn't it barrage it could be just always messages pertaining or 
accusatory messages, okay. thinking that you and I are in some sort of, um, that you're my side piece, oh, that you're yeah. my second. Look at his face. And I don't know where that comes from because I don't feel like we've ever talked about it on uh -huh. our podcast or have we? Baby girl, don't be so naive. This man throws himself at your feet every chance he gets. He just said that you proposed to him twice in this six minutes and 42 seconds. It might not be you, but it's him. It feels giving that energy. Theo is giving that energy. I have never said anything like that. I mean, I don't know if they... Do you feel like there's any attraction between us or no? I... I personally don't think no. so. But I, I like you, you a lot. Think so I said, do you feel like there is? And I don't know <gasps> in a bad way. Okay, here, let me try to break this down in like a really transparent yeah, way. I, I want to be honest. Bottom of this. Um, there are people that I walk past that yeah. I feel like an instant like chemistry with. You're not, not one of them. By that feeling at all. Yeah. I just kind of like clock it, and then you know, it's it's it validates that I'm human. Mm -hmm. Um, I do have it with certain people in his life, but not you. Okay. Um, Probably a sad sound. Do we have any sad sounds queued up? That was the nicest way to friend zone somebody. Like, she's a really nice, you can tell she just is a sweet, sweet girl. She explained that so eloquently. <laughs> Not you, though. <laughs> because you, you feel more like family. Yeah yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know Louisiana's not. not it's, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Not even friend zone. She family zoned him. You feel like my cousin. You feel more like family. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I know yeah, Louisiana's not. It's, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Enough, 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 enough. Here's what I'm saying is, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I lost my Virginia behind a bowling alley, dude, which is crazy. Yeah. <gasps> behind a bowling alley. Yeah. That's such a. Um, and people were throwing rocks at us. Trailer so park kids. story. Well, there was this one kid, definitely, and something was wrong with him. I mean, n nothing's wrong with him by our standards. Something's not, you know, God didn't put him down here at 100%. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you will. And uh, But him he and some other kids were throwing. Charged I don't, it might not before. have been rocks. It might have been shale stone, but it was still. Shale hard enough, stone? Dude. It's hard to fuck when people are throwing rocks Wait, at you, dude. Like it's like the Middle East, you were know? Were you in a car? Yeah. It's like the Gaza Strip. <laughs> That's what they. Aw. I don't know when this was filmed, but dang. Um, she's in stitches. Because she can't even, like, speak because he's just such an idiot. Oh, my God. Such okay, so were you in a car? Were you outside? Outside. Outdoors. And so you were standing? Yeah. Up against, like, a truck or something, I picture? No. A building. A building. Yeah, Jesus. And how oh, does this go respect down? for me and the lady. <laughs> well, you were having rocks thrown at you. I don't, this, it I mean, is a bowling alley. So wait a second. Like, <laughs> How did this like happen? How did you? We go? were in okay. love. We were in love. Oh, you! It was your girlfriend. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Why do it there? You know, <clears throat> I just think it. The opportunity know, presented we were, itself. You know, we could do it there. We were young. You can stand and fuck easier when you're young. Yeah. Remember those yeah. days? I mean, no. I think I like started having sex when everyone was done standing and fucking. Oh wow! Well, you're like tall I, too. It's not fun yeah. trying to fuck a tall girl, really. Honestly. <laughs> oh no. Really? <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. I come in, I'm that fucking Polish bad boy. I roll in at six feet, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm that Polish Nicaraguan, just I'm that, you know, I roll in at that, you know, just that basic height. Polish Nicaraguan? Is six feet basic height for a man? I feel like six feet is like where tall starts. I don't know. Height and so. <laughs> and, and it's she hard. It's stitching. definitely, you got to really... You have to have a, a little bit more of a plan. You got to really want to fuck to fuck a tall girl. People I'm, really coming for that rump, huh? Coming for the rump. I'm like, I've been in Nashville for 12 years. Lainey, we talked about this. The girl has a badonky donk, okay? And she dresses. I don't, I'm not saying she dresses for the attention, but she dresses to accentuate her shape as, as every woman should. Whatever side, everyone should dress to show off what they got. Show what your mama gave you. But every time I see her, I'm like, I know exactly what all the men are thinking. The thing is rotund. Baby girl, if I had that, I'd be wearing those pants too. Just saying. Years trying to do music. And here we are. The butt goes viral. And I mean, they, they find the music through the butt. <laughs> yeah, and they look. plan on sticking around. But it's, uh, look, yeah, I'm think, trying to embrace it. Yeah. Nothing will keep a man around like some butt, I think. That's right. So, that's yeah. right. I might. Like, They're two whatever, country accents. Whatever makes them listen to the music. Yeah, hey, look, sometimes they start with the bass section, you know, before they get to the treble, you know. That's it. That's exactly it. 
that's all it is. <laughs> that was a good feel. That was too. a good analogy. I mean, I didn't know how to feel about it in the beginning. I was like, I thought it was going to be just this little, little tiny viral thing. And Girl. next thing I know, weeks later, I'm still seeing. The pants are this. tight. Yeah, what was that? Can you pull that up, uh, Ben? If you find that TikTok, I don't even know. I just remember seeing that. And it was like, um, some, yeah, it was like a side angle of you on a stage. And, and then With the leopard pants. Yeah. Leopard pants. Now, that'll my, probably that do was it like too. an optical illusion. I don't think my butt's really that big. I think it was the leopard. Laney, I mean, now Laney. Maybe the leopard had a big butt. <laughs> oh, my God. That is, see. Wow. Oh, yeah, was, they beat that, that up. Also, this God. is a widescreen. Let's be honest. No, I mean, that's edited. Saying. Y'all doing me dirty. This is 16.9, baby. I think whatever that is, that <laughs> thing is. Uh, <laughs> you got that silver screen I rear. Know. Dang, no. that thing is. Uh, uh, it's out there. Yeah, silver. that cheetah must have been strong. Huh? What's, what's weird is people are like, where'd you get that from? And I say, I get the, the width from my mama and the depth from my daddy. Really? That's funny. My daddy's got a, he got a little booty on Does him. Does he? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I used to date a girl actually, and she had her father's butt. Oh my God. Yep. I used to date a girl, and she had her father's butt. I'm not getting into it. I'm not getting into that. Theo, I'm not doing this with you today. And it was always like, I don't know, it was so hard for me <sighs> sometimes to like want to mate with her sometimes. Because you're just thinking about mate. her father's butt. I, mean, I wasn't thinking about her father, but it was like a very distinct <laughs> looking buttocks, you know? I got to see this girl's butt. I mean, she was beautiful, but she had... She had her father's butt, kind of. I think, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't even say that. I don't know what was going on. She listening to this, too, and she knows exactly. <laughs> She's like, yeah, he talking about me. I hope, you, I hope not. God so then what time, if there's somebody in the podcasting world Them again? that I would that uh, you feel like you would have to at least up with. not shack up. Jesus Christ, have oh. some respect for yourself. Oh. Who would that man, like, who is the man? Is it a Brendan Shaw type of guy? Would, it, would you then, you think, have to gravitate towards, like, <clears throat> this, like, burlesque kind of, like, um, what does he... ambient sound of a man? Gun to my head because I would not date a single comic for the rest of my life. And, <laughs> oh, dang and that's dang a that. fact. <laughs> Look, I could get a new job. <laughs> She said, he said, I can get a new job. See, he keeps hitting on her. He loves her. She said that like he was like an athlete. I'll never date a comic again. I just think a man in the spotlight is just hard to date. <laughs> I could easily open Period. up a bouquet shop. A bouquet shop. Okay. I could sell bouquet, man. <laughs> easily. Why not just say flowers? You know, I'm just trying to get you to say <laughs> that if something ever happened... <laughs> I could buy you a malt. I look. I would. I would put you on a trial period. Okay. Okay. Don't tell him that. And it's just for friendship. It's for friendship. So that we would cohabitate in the same house, different beds, different rooms, do all that. Oh, and then I'd see how you'd idea. function. Yeah. Right. I would and not then well. eventually, I would see. You would really have to prove yourself. I would um, not be able to. That last bit, uh, girl. Stop leading this man on. He wants you, and you need to go the other way <laughs> i would love and i mean love with a capital l o v e exclamation mark to sit down on theo Vaughn's podcast theo this is my application audition whatever you will have it please have me on your show i'm i'm in love with you <laughs> i'm not but i think you are hilarious and i would love to just have some some casual dialogue casual anyway y'all be kind to each other be kind to yourself and go and have the day you deserve peace